How many times have we started on this exact spot? Yes. Hello there, everybody, and welcome to part 12. I want to say 12 of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. So we're going to continue more quests today. No story progress. We're just trying to do as much as we can. Starting with you, good sir. Me. You. I have excellent news. The picture book for Panna should be finished soon. Panna? Wow. How exciting. It's still not perfect quite yet, but I like you but I like you to take a look. It's about a river spirit that grants a boy that grants a wish to a sad boy named Pama. Oh god, what a terrible time to have a vision. Oh, river spirit. River spirit. Pama came to play. Wah! 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 Pama drowning! Glub, 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 help! Oh, damn. Pama? You think this might tempt Pama into go and play in the river? That does sound dangerous. I suppose you're right. I'll have to edit my pictures to not give Pama any silly ideas. But to do that, I need a lake drop. Imagination's tempered. So... This is a conundrum, actually. So, Imagination's Tempered is a quest that you can do. But, another outcome is actually possible. Lake Drops make a unique pigment perfect for painting over things. They're extremely rare. You might be lucky and find some at Ragra Lake, though. And... Oh my, I feel so frail and weak. If I had some medicine, I could get better and look after Pama. What now? Is something the matter? Just be careful out there, okay? We have another outcome, actually. Because art shouldn't be censored. Let's talk to Arda. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Give Pama a picture book. What a wonderful delight. He looks so sad recently, and I've been, and I would certainly cheer him up. I wish to, I could be with him all the time, but I have this ailment. I need medicinal herb tonic, or it'll just keep getting worse. If I had my medicine, it, I could be with Pama wherever he goes. Spirits raised. So we can either get the lake drop or the medicinal herb for... You know, Arda, so that he can look after Arda while he, while he play or kids. <laughs> oh my God, I am I'm terrible at, I'm 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 I, yeah. <laughs> okay, spirits raised. All right, all right. Let's let's actually do that because that seems like the more the more plausible option here. Let let's do that. Okay, so in order to get this item, what you need to do is, uh, wait, is it over there? Is it? Yeah, but this one herb near Tank World Grotto. Okay, okay. It should be right over there, actually. So what am I talking about? I gotta go over to Ragro Bridge North, actually. While also getting these, these collectibles, because I, because I really, I, I really, uh, should be getting more items, actually. Okay. So, doing Imaginations Tempered is an outcome, but I feel like it's the less happy outcome since it probably has to be censored in order to do that. Plus, Arda would feel would still feel like sick. So, doing Spirits Raised will actually be the much better outcome for everybody, I suppose. But if you do want the leg drop, uh, the uh, item, the leg drop is over near Wagwell Lake, which is actually just down here, actually. Yeah, it's over there in the, uh, at the bottom area. But I do want to make sure that this is the, uh, I do want to make sure that this is the uh, better outcome first, actually. Chuka Conroy never fails. The medicinal herb is definitely a whole lot better, actually. So let's do that then. Once again, you can get the leg drop if you want to, but this would this is probably the better outcome for everybody. 
Is that a medicinal herb? Why is the text bubble wiggling? You found one for me? Yes, but something bad will happen. Why are the text... What? <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but the text bubbles are, like, wiggling. <laughs> don't let him go anywhere near a river. Got it. I'll keep a close eye on him and make sure he stays close to the camp. You really do care about Pama, don't you? Rest assured he's safe with me. Don't worry yourself anymore. I heard Matri and uh, Ewan are made a picture book for Pama. How kind of those two lovebirds? Ha ha ha. Now, don't tell them I said that. I've known those two for years. They make a lovely couple. I know Matri has been concerned about Pama as well. But I'm right as rain now. Which is why I'm still sleeping. You can tell Matri that I'm fit to look after the boy from now on. Seriously, why was the text bubble, like, like, wiggling for a second? I, I don't know. This is a 30 FPS game, so what you're seeing is the actual frame rate of the game, but... Me. Jesus. You! Artist said what? Well, I can't argue with that, then. I'm glad it all turned out okay in the end. The picture book is finished. You can present it to Pama now. I know he'll be thrilled with it. It would be great for, for the two of them to enjoy reading it together. We got a picture book. Why can't we freaking... Why can't we freaking... Oh, he's right there. Why can't we freaking read it, actually? That sounds like a really cool book to read. Whoopee! Whoopee! What? Friends looking for Pama? This picture book for Pama? Matri and Ewan make it? Thank you. Pama always treasured this book. Pama get Granny Pon Arda to read it to me. Everyone here is so kind. So kind. Yes. Zounds. <laughs> we got Spirits Rays done. And Arts Heal 2. Okay. That sounds okay. <laughs> that definitely sounds okay. Uh, are there any other... Are there any other things that we can do at the refugee camp, actually? Oh, there is a quest, actually. In there. All right. Uh, the Wizard Corman. How you doing, buddy old pal? Who's this? Who's this? You couldn't have come at a better time. We hung our clothes to dry outside the camp, but they've been stolen. How worrying. You don't have that many clothes. So this really puts us in quite an awkward position. But I think I know who the culprits are. You know who did it? Then why not send out a band of young people to get them? It's mostly just Odies and children here. There are some young adults, but they're all cowards and weaklings. <laughs> See, even Gorman knows the situation. Juju and Gorman, they have something in common. It was the Tyrkin who stole them. They have no need for clothes, but they're clever, you see. They set traps for Homs who go try to take back their clothes. We literally saw none of those traps. Can you go get our clothes back? Thieving monsters. So we gotta get the clothes. An easy enough quest. You're a decent bunch of people. You're taking their... Their bases to the northwest of here. <laughs> I like this guy. Gosh, I, I, I like this guy. Okay. The closest skip travel point is Kamal's guidepost, of course. And, of course, that means we're going back to the Tyrkin headquarters, which, why isn't that a skip travel point? Eh. Oh, and by the way, uh, I'm not sure if I already discovered this, actually. But, in some cases, uh, places and cutscenes aren't really discovered in gameplay, for whatever reason. So, going back over here, where we first met Juju, is Row Oasis. This is probably the Oasis in the Smash Brothers stage. Since the architecture is technically the same, so think of it what you will. The treasure chests are still here. I guess I forgot to pick up the items. All right, we'll get the clothes and the uh, items that are in the treasure chests. Who's this? You put the clothes back. No more threatening over garments. Hell yeah, my brother. We Odies and Kitties could never have done this by ourselves. We really appreciate what you've done. I bet Juju would have taken care of that. I mean, he was brave enough to go to Colony 6 all by himself. Which, by the way, how is he doing? 
I bet he's doing just fine. Shulk and Ryan leveled up, so that's great. Ernie, Ernest, hello. Hi there. Hi there. I got something to tell you. Want to hear? It's a, there's an everlasting ether deposit not far from here. Do you know about it? Could you go into more detail? Yeah, we might be able to help. The location's a secret, but it's your lucky day. I'm going to tell you. You sure you're not having a laugh with this? Oh my god. It looks like the text bubble. It looks like Ryan's talking as Ernest. Because I ain't buying it. Sounds too good to be true. You don't have to believe me. Ain't no skin off my back. It's you who'll be losing out. Suppose it can't hurt to go take a look. But I smell a rat. Yes! Rats! Rats! So what's it going to be? You going or not? Just make your minds up. Ernest fibs. <laughs> Yeah, he's totally, totally not lying at all. Go to the camp, go along the cliff to the right, and then in the cave. Good luck. No problem. Leave it to me. Yep, let's do our best, guys. If anyone grazes their knee, I'll be here to patch them up. Thanks, Charla. We'll be counting on you. Hey, let's go. So, the place that we're going to is Kisk Cave. You know where that is by now. We're way too strong for everybody except for that leg arachno. I mean, duh. Uh, come on. Get out of the way, dude. Just go away. I don't want to trigger you. Okay. Let's see. Wait, let's get this. And there we go. I checked it out. It's just a normal ether deposit. There's nothing special about it. Uh-oh. Quest updated. What do we got? We got to return to Ernest. Haha, -ha, we caught a rat. Even though the quest litter. Oh, God. I'm really lucky audio sa auto save files are a thing. <laughs> I didn't mean to go into that red portal by mistake. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, uh, man. Okay. You checked it out. And it was just a normal ether deposit. Then a load of monsters came out. Hmm. Weird. That shouldn't have happened. No need to moan, though. Y'all made it out, all right, did you? We didn't even have to fight, dude. Anyone can make a mistake, right? Though I suppose you did go. Here's a reward for you. Yeah, sure. I suppose that's fine. But you got something else. Hi there. Hi there. All right. Sorry about last time. Did you ever find any everlasting ether deposits? Yeah, please. Go into more detail about how you're, you're, you're a liar. What? Taking your time, ain't you? I let a look at the records. And I know where it really is. I can tell you if you want to know. What you looking at me for? Everyone makes mistakes. This time I really know. But we all know what happened last time. We can't just trust you. You're really not lying this time? I wasn't even lying before. I just got it wrong, didn't I? You can trust me. I like to say I can, but... Well, whatever. I ain't gonna force you. Do whatever you like. Well, we pretty much have to accept this quest because it's 100% completion. And you know me. I didn't 100% Xenoblade. You know what? I'm not. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. All right. So let's do this then. Ooh. Unshakable trust. We got almost near max affinity with uh, Shulk and Ryan, actually. Dang. More often than not, uh, Shulk and Ryan are pretty much almost always going to be the first ones because they're in the party the longest. So that's Cloud Affinity, the second highest uh, affinity that can possibly that possibly can be achieved. So that's great. That's cool. That's fascinating. And also, I should really be fascinating and turn off tracking for uh, Kiroki. All right, so where we're going is we're gonna go to Ragwell Bridge South. We're gonna jump down and we're gonna swim across the lake. Swim across the lake. Also looking at these really, really nice looking water reflections. Once again, this game is 720p, but it's the best looking 720p. Believe me, this game looks a lot better on a TV because once again, YouTube compression ain't nobody's fool. 
Which I gotta say, like, I really, I really don't like that, how YouTube compresses videos. So, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, would there be, like, a, would it be a problem if I was uploading in 4K? Nah. Oh, fuck. Um. Um. Okay. I'm gonna die anyway. Um. Why did that guy have to be here? Why? Well, damn. He really just, uh, and <laughs> they really just ended me right there. God. Well, s <laughs> man, I can't believe that. Okay, it's definitely a lot easier to be here at night because that Envy Sardi being level 70 plus. No, sir. No, sir. A large water crystal. Nice. Okay. This is it. It's just another ordinary ether deposit. Ha. Well, I wonder what could have possibly happened there. I wonder why that would have been a thing, dude. Also, I'm thinking, God, that Ernest is available in all times of the day because uh, that would have been uh, awkward. Ernest, you may give out good rewards, but you a rat, sir. Hi there. What? Just still just normal crystals? And monsters appeared again? Well, normally you have to fight them, but I'm way too strong now. Looks like I got it wrong again. Everyone fails from time to time. Ain't that right? So you figured out I have... So you figure out what I'm having you on. Your problem is you're too trusting. Anyway, I've had a laugh. You deserve a little something. Sure. Cool. Remember, kids, lying is fun. We get Earth Cloak Gems, which basically reduces ground de detection range of ground monsters by 20%. So that could be good, actually. Ernest's last quest, I believe. What's up, bud? Hi there. Ain't you had enough yet? You're a glutton for punishment. Oh, yeah. I got something real. I really need to help me out with. There's a grave on a cliff near Kasharpa Falls. Do you know whose it is? Yes, please go into more detail. So you don't know, then? It's my friend's grave. Can you put these flowers on it? You probably don't believe me, but I'm telling the truth this time. Never mind. I lied to you twice already. No way you'll believe me. I do. I can see it in your eyes. I can't be 100% sure. But it feels like you're telling the truth this time. Really? You really believe me? What's this? I'm feeling a bit guilty. Don't be like that. I'm sure you had your reasons for lying when you did. But I believe what you're saying now. I mentioned the flowers for the grave, right? Will you do it for us? Ernest Solitude. There seems to be a reason behind Ernest's lies. Well, we'll only know for sure if we put those flowers on the grave. Thanks, but don't go trusting me too much. Put the flowers on the grave on the cliff n north of Kasarpa Falls. Watch out for Tyrkins. It's one of those things that... Nah, never mind. Hmm. Okay, then. So, where is Kasarpa Falls? I don't chit chat. All right, cool. Go to Spiral Valley. This is a place that we haven't been to yet. And oh, look at this. This is so pretty. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just shut up and let you view the night sky. Look at that. It's so nice. Like one of the things I like about Xenoblade is just the sky, man. The sky is just so beautiful. Even if it has that, you know, Makana's sword just blocking it. It just looks so pretty and looks so great. Ah, oh, man. These are the best. These are just some of the best ever. Like, I totally get the whole arguments with uh, resolution and all that. Like, the whole resolution being like, you know, Xenoblade being stuck in 720 is kind of a little bit of a detriment. 
because of the sole fact that it's not really, you know, full HD and everything. Uh, what am I doing here, actually? I thought I could... I kind of... I thought I could just legit discover this place. Because I think this is a location. Or maybe I just entered it wrong. I'm not entirely sure. But, basically, with Xenoblade being stuck in resolution hell, like... The original version of Xenoblade is 480p. That's what the Wii could... That's all that the Wii could handle, 480p. And then, with uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X, that's what... That's when it all went to 1080p for the first time. Or if I'm wrong on that, uh, something will appear on screen right now. Right now. Right now. And then you get Xenoblade 2, which this version is based on the Xenoblade 2 graphics engine. And, uh, wait, why am I not tracking this quest? You sure it's over here? Yeah, it's over here. Um, then you get Xenoblade 2, which is 720p. Like, you could really feel that at times. Again, YouTube compression is not everybody's friend. These games, these 720p games look a whole lot better just seeing them on an actual TV. So, that's fine. Even my brother has, like, a 4K TV. And uh, I played Xenoblade on his 4K TV. And it looks great. It really looks great on 4K TV. It's Ernest Friend's grave. Let's place the flowers. Completely ignore the Tyrkin that just appeared behind us. It's the one that killed his friend. How do you know that? How do you know that a Tyrkin killed his friend, man? How do you know that? But yeah, we got an arrogant Tyrkin over here. Honestly, they're not really much different from Javelin Tyrkins. So that's her thing. But yeah, like, Xenoblade looks great on a 4K TV. Like, never mind, like, the resolution and everything. Um, but yeah. But yeah, like, Xenoblade kind of being stuck in 720p hell kind of stinks. But I'm saying if the art style is just really, it's just too good. If the art style is really good enough, then I feel like it can shine here. And I feel like this Definitive Edition is the visual upgrade that Xenoblade Chronicles needed. Because honestly, like, I can't really blame anybody for saying that this look, that Xenoblade originally looked like, you know, PS2 era when the Wii was clearly, you know, a generation ahead. So, yeah, I can't really blame them for saying that. But, but yeah, I just feel like, you know, Definitive Edition was the visual upgraded that Xenoblade 1 really, really did need. So, I just really like I just really like the graphics. Okay, graphics are a part of making of what makes games good, but it's also gameplay what matters to me. I'm not a graphics bum. Hi there. So a monster rushed you when you put the flowers down. I knew he'd be there. Did you take him down? I can't thank you enough. It's finally over. Someone lied to me and my friend that there were crystals there. They, we went, but there was nothing. Then on the way back, we were jumped by a Tyrkin. My friend died to protect me. It still gives me nightmares. I haven't been able to trust anyone since. But you trusted me when you and went to put the flowers on this grave. And you even got revenge from my friend. Thanks. I really mean it. Glad everything worked out. Hell yeah. Always willing to do something good for people. Here's a little something from me and him. I like these quest lines that have really good stories to them. And, you know, I I I appreciate that. Like, you really don't see that from quests all that often, but... It's really nice. Shulk learned a new art. Alright, we're gonna test that right away. So, uh, let's test it. Uh, where would a good guinea pig be for... Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes. The combo gets completed. So, Shulk learned Shaker Edge. Shaker Edge is a day's art. We originally had that on Fiora, but... Unfortunately, she's dead. So, we couldn't... We can't really use Shaker Edge to... So, we can't... So, we didn't really have a day's art on anybody for, like, a good while. But now that we have Shaker Edge, we can now inflict days on enemies. So, thank 
you god, we finally have a day's art. Yeah, we don't have any more quests to do at, uh... Yeah, we don't have any more quests to do at the refugee camp. We're all... All set. So, really, there's only one thing left to do. Just explore. Mount Torta. <laughs> they're really slow, but they're level 32, so... No, not right now, thank you. Not right now. Later, but not right now. <laughs> okay, so if you decide to go over this way, past Villiera Hill, you will be able to come across this location that should be popping up any moment. I said this location that should be popping up any moment. Really nothing? Okay, there we go. Sky Stage. I believe this is where Violent Andante starts. So if you ever want to find his starting location, well, uh, there you go. There it is. But yeah, while we just jog, while we just, uh, you know, just jog around the place, um, I, I figured I might as well do it. I, I think it's pretty safe to assume to continue on my point about like Xenoblade being stuck in 720p hell, it it really does look like uh, Xenoblade 3 is going to be 720p as well. But very thankfully, they're keeping the art style at least. But yeah, I like I really don't understand why 720p is. I, I like I'm. This is probably the most you're probably going to get me just being like, why can't Xenoblade be 1080p? That way they're right there. Right there the uh, blah 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 that way the art style can really shine when they're 1080p but you know whatever I'm I'm not I'm not like too fussy I'm not really that fussy about like graphics and everything I'm not really too fussy but it's just like when I, this became a talking point for me so I'm just like mm -hmm. <laughs> and it really does look like Xenoblade 3 will be 720p too but th very thankfully, they're keeping the same art style, at least, so that's great. Honestly, I really care more about art style than, uh, you know, graphics and stuff. I mean, why do you think I like Elden Ring a lot? Even though the engine is technically outdated, we get a giant smear from that. And we can run away from Clifftop Bay Yearn. Ugh. Gross. Um, but yeah. Uh, why do you think I like Elden Ring so much? It's because of the video game. About the actual video game that's being played. Here's another search quest item. Or rather, Mementos of a Lost Son, which is Twisted Gun. So he even made it all the way to this place. The Observation Platform. <laughs> Look at all that. Look at all that we explored. There's a treasure chest over there. <laughs> I really want to get that. I really want to get that. Again, I'm like, who cares about like... Who cares about like the uh, outdated engine apparently of Dark Souls when uh, you get like a really good art style to it? Like, one of the many reasons I really like Elden Ring a lot is because of the art style to it. Like, this really feels like a fantasy world. It really does feel like a fantasy world that's unlike any other fantasy world that we've seen, in, at least in video games. And I couldn't appreciate it more for that. So I feel like that's, that's just basically how I feel about that. And that's, that's good enough for me. And also the gameplay and combat is really good too. And exploration. So, yeah. I think I care more about art style than uh, graphics fidelity and anything like that. Like, if an art style is good, then who am I to judge? Like, look at this. You're not going to see this art style anywhere else. You're never going to see it anywhere else. It's a feature that's unique to Xenoblade and nothing more. Just making really good visuals. And Monolith Soft knows how to make really good visuals. 
Windy Cave. I'm, I'm just there to basically discover that place. So anyway, um, we're not exactly done with side quests yet. And we're not done with Bionis Lake just yet. So next time on Xenoblade Definitive Edition, we're going to continue our side questing ventures in the Bionis Lake. Or on the Bionis Lake, because we're technically standing on a leg. Yes, keep in mind, keep in mind, all this takes place on a Titan. Like a dead Titan. So we're on a leg right now. Which really does act, it really makes you forget that we're actually standing on a leg. I mean, had it not been for, you know, that. Also, a little thing, too, before I uh, close out the video. You can barely see it, but I like how the Monado lights up now. I don't think that was a thing in Definitive Edition or a thing in the original. So that's just freaking cool how it lights up. I want to light up Monado like that. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.